students. This uh, week I'll be doing the spelling dressed as Sir Douglas Mawson in tribute to the great explorer, the great Antarctic explorer. Let's have a look at this week's spelling. Uh, the first word is available. Sir Douglas Mawson is not available for comment. He long since has passed away. Available. Second word is accurate. It is accurate to say that Sir Douglas Mawson is a great explorer. Accurate. Agreement. There is strong agreement that William Shackleton and Sir Douglas Mawson are two of the greatest Antarctic explorers there ever was. Agreement. Allowed. Sir Douglas Mawson was not allowed to bring his friends on the trip. Allowed. Grave. On the way to Antarctica, and when he got there, Sir Douglas Mawson was in grave danger. Grave. Number six is victim. Sir Douglas Mawson was a victim of the terrible cold in Antarctica. Victim. Word number seven is solve. Douglas Mawson could not solve the mysteries of Antarctica. Solve. Number eight is survive. Douglas Mawson was able to survive Antarctica. Survive. Many didn't. Number nine, advise. Because of Mawson's expert knowledge of Antarctica, he was able to advise people who wanted to travel there. Advise. Word number 10 is advice. When Douglas Mawson speaks, you listen to his wise advice. Advice. Number 11 is lovable. Sir Douglas Mawson was a lovable character. Lovable. Number 12 is creative. To get out of some problems in Antarctica, Sir Douglas had to be creative. Creative. Word number 14 is positive. Is it always important to stay positive and upbeat when you are exploring the icy tundra of Antarctica? Positive. Number 15 is negative. Don't get negative. Don't feel down. If you start feeling negative while you're out there exploring Antarctica, it's going to be very hard to lift your spirits because it's so bitterly cold. Negative. Word number 16 is adventure. What an adventure it was to explore Antarctica. Adventure. Very windy. Word number 17 is discoveries. Many great discoveries were made by Douglas Mawson as he ventured across Antarctica. Discoveries. Word number 18 is wheel. The wheel of fortune spins around. Who will it land on to be the world's most famous explorer? Maybe Douglas Mawson. Wheel. Word number nine is waste. When you're travelling across Antarctica, you can afford to waste no food. Trust me, I've been there. Waste. Number 20 is worse. The worst thing you can do in Antarctica is lose your socks. Worst. Your feet get awful cold. Word number 21 is forward. If you don't stop moving forward in Antarctica, you'll be okay. You must always move forward. Never give up. Forward. Word number 22 is weight. If you can't carry your own weight, don't come to Antarctica, because I won't be carrying you. Weight. Word number 23 is nowhere. As far as I'm concerned, there is nowhere on the planet colder than Antarctica. Nowhere. Number 24 is quest. I went on a great quest to Antarctica to unveil its secrets. Quest. 
Word number 25 is meanwhile. Meanwhile, in the Bat Cave, Sir Douglas Mawson was giving advice to Batman on his upcoming trip to Antarctica. Meanwhile, number 26 is whistle. If you hear a loud whistle in Antarctica, it means run. A polar bear is coming to eat you. Whistle. That's a joke. There's no polar bears in Antarctica. Whistle. Twilight. Twilight in Antarctica is the most beautiful part of the day. It is the period between the afternoon and evening. Twilight. Weather. Word number 28 is weather. I don't know whether to go to Antarctica this year or the North Pole. Weather. Number 29 is wonderfully. It is wonderfully brisk in Antarctica. In fact, it's so wonderfully brisk, you might even say it's absolutely freezing. Wonderly. Not wonderly. Wonderfully. Number 30. Evidently. Evidently, I made the right decision bringing my scarf to Antarctica because it's so cold. Evidently, it means there's evidence for it. Evidently. 31 is privileged. I am privileged to have been one of the first men to ever explore the great icy tundra known as Antarctica. Word number 32 is souvenir. For a souvenir... From my journey to Antarctica, I bought back a block of ice, but it melted. So that was a disappointment. Souvenir. Number 33 is verify. I was sent to Antarctica to verify the existence of this icy continent. And actually, yes, trust me, I verified it. It is there. Verify. It means to check. Number 34 is acquaintance. An acquaintance is a friend of a sort. Someone you know is not quite a friend, but you know them. They're nearly a friend, but they're not quite a friend. One of my favourite acquaintances is the Queen, because I got to meet her, because I'm Sir Douglas Mawson. But we're not friends, but we know each other a little bit now. Acquaintance. Number 35 is extinguished. There were no fires to extinguish in Antarctica at all. Extinguish. Word number 36 is rendezvous. I was going to rendezvous with my best friend Bernie in Antarctica, but he tricked me and never met me there. Rendezvous means to meet someone somewhere. Word number 37 is, oh, an oldie but a goodie, logorrhea. If you've got logorrhea, it means you talk too much. I didn't talk much when I was in Antarctica. In fact, I didn't talk at all because I was by myself. Logorrhea. Word number 38 is labyrinth. There are lots of icy labyrinths in Antarctica. A labyrinth is like a maze. All right, thank you very much, students. There is this week's spelling test. Sir Douglas Mawson signing off.